The IF1010R is a compact yet powerful handheld router that offers the user system versatility, accuracy and safety. In this guide we'll take a look at the different features, setup and some system accessories. The IF1010R has a plug it lead power connection. When connecting, line up the internal connectors, push in and turn clockwise to secure. The switch is located under the handle and is used to switch the tool on and off. For continuous operation, the switch can be locked by means of the button on the side of the handle. The switch can be unlocked and the tool turned off by pressing it once again. After the router has been switched off, the milling cutter will still rotate for a time until the electronic brake stops it. The motor speed can be continuously adjusted from 10,000 and 23,000 RPM. The table offers a guide to the correct electronic speed settings for various materials. The selected motor speed is electronically maintained to a constant level under load which provides a uniform cutting speed and a quality cutting result. The OF1010R can be connected to a dust extractor to remove harmful dust when working and will accept a 27 or 36 mm hose. The hoses have a bayonet fitting that locks the hose in firmly when in use. When fitting the hose, line up the hose with the arrow indicators and turn clockwise to fix in place. Using the chip catcher, the efficiency of the extraction can be increased when routing edges. Fit the chip catcher to the plate after removing the covering from the base. The hood can also be trimmed off along with the grooves and can be then reduced in size. The chip catcher can then be used for interior radiuses up to a minimum radius of 40mm. To fit a router bit, insert the router bit into the clamping collet to within 5mm of the base. Press the spindle stop button and turn the spindle until it locks in place. Tighten the collet nut with the 19mm spanner. To remove the cutter, turn the spindle until the spindle stop locks. Loosen the collet nut until resistance is felt. Overcome this resistance by turning the nut until it loosens once again. The cutter can now be removed. The OF1010R can accept collet 6, 6.35 and 8mm. To change the collets, fully unscrew the collet nut and remove from the spindle together with the clamping collet. Insert a new clamping collet with the nut in the spindle and slightly tighten the collet nut. Do not tighten the collet until the milling cutter has been fitted. To zero the router cutter, open the clamping lever so that the stop cylinder can be moved freely. Open the rotary knob and press the machine down until the milling cutter rests on the base. Clamp the machine in this position. Turn the sensing stop so that the lowest level stop is in line with the clamping lever. Push the stop cylinder down against the sensing stop. Push the pointer down so that it shows zero on the scale. The router is now ready to set the milling depth. The desired milling depth can be set by lifting the depth stop up to the desired setting, then clamping the lever. You can also use a fine adjustment to alter depth. Each notch represents one tenth of a millimetre depth change and can be used to increase or decrease the cutting depth. The guide system facilitates routing straight grooves. Fix the guide stop to the plate with the guide rods of the parallel guide. Fasten the guide rail with the FSZ screw clamps to the workpiece. Make sure that the safety distance of 5mm between the front edge of the guide rail and the cutter or the groove is observed. 
place the guide stop onto the guide rail. To ensure a backlash free guidance of the router, you can adjust two screws to remove lateral play with a screwdriver through the side openings. Screw the height adjustable support of the router table threaded bore in such a way that the underside of the router table is parallel to the workpiece. The parallel guide can be used for routing parallel to an edge of the workpiece. Clamp the two guide rods to the parallel guide with the rotary knobs. Push the guide rods into the grooves of the router until the desired distance between the router and the workpiece edge is reached. Clamp the guide rods tight with the rotary knobs. Copping rings can be used for copying and template applications. They are available in different sizes to suit different cutter widths and template applications. To fit the copping ring, first remove the plate in the base of the router. Choose a suitable copping ring to suit the chosen cutter. When choosing the size of the copping ring, make sure that the cutter used fits through the ring's opening. The copping ring will come with flat base screws that will hold the copping ring in the central position. When needing to centre the copping ring to the collet, a centering mandle can be used. The IF1010R has a large range of accessories that increases versatility to cover many applications including guide rails, templates and circle cutters. To keep yourself updated on festival product information and applications, subscribe to our channel below.